Hey, welcome back. Hope you did your homework. Today we're going to talk about why you can succeed. And I think this is a really powerful thing to understand. And it's something that's inside of you. So I, I'm going to, I'm going to take you through this and give you some insights. You know, I have, um, I've had the, the pleasure and um, the privilege and the honor in many cases to do a lot of leadership style universities. In other words, um, I've done them for big companies and I've done them in network marketing. And that is where I, I literally spend multiple days with leadership from that company. And I take them through all aspects of developing yourself and developing your skills and developing your leadership ability, etc. And what's interesting, particularly in the network marketing space, is that in many of those cases, we do personality profile tests. And over half, I think it's over half of the people who are leaders in the network marketing space are introverts. <laughs> it's, isn't that interesting? Yeah, you might not, again, you wouldn't think that, especially if you're an introvert, you wouldn't think that because as a natural introvert, you tend to look at the extrovert and go, boy, if I was only like that, right? If I was only like that, things would be easier for me. But you know, the reality is, again, it, 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 there's, it, there's blessings to every kind of personality. And in, in, in effect, an introvert will listen more. And what is one of the most important people skills there is? It's listening, right? You know, of course, you have to learn how to get into a conversation. <laughs> you have to learn how to initiate it, right? Which is what I had to learn how to do. But, um, you know, they, they are tremendous once they grasp what, what you have. So that's, that's why this is important to understand. So bottom line is that you are a unique person. You have your own set of skills, abilities, gifts, affinities, passions, experience, resources, knowledge. You have everything that's uniquely you that nobody else has what you have. You're the only one that has exactly your DNA and has who you are. And you have all that you need to make your unique contribution. That's really, really important to understand. You, you're not missing anything. And so when it comes to building your business, there's just one ingredient that every person who succeeds shares one single ingredient, and that is they access their will, their will, and you have it. So you've already proven you have it or you wouldn't even be alive right now, but you have will. We're all born with it. Now, what, what is will? In, in my way of thinking, will is this blend of persistence and perseverance, the ability to endure, but the ability to go after something. And it, it, think, about, think about a child, right? Think about a child who wants a cookie. Does a child just go, may I have a cookie? And you say no, and that's the end of the conversation. Uh, no. <laughs> a child will go, can I have a cookie? When you say no, they'll be like, okay. okay. How about now? Can I have a cookie now? No, okay. How about now? Can I have one now? What if I do this? Can they get a cookie? Right? They, they will come at you and come at you and come at you and come at, come at you until you finally go, here, take the whole box of cookies. Please, take them. Go, have fun. Right? That's, but we all have that. We're all born with that. We are born with that ability to persist. And then perseverance is simply persistence over time, right? It's, it's, it's committing to continue to persist regardless of what life throws at you, regardless of the twists and turns and the bumps in the road. Well, something that's important to remember is success is not always forward progress, right? I mean, progress is not always a step forward. It can be backwards. It can be down. It can be sideways. Sometimes it's sideways for a while. That's normal. That's the way your whole life has been. And I'm going to give you a concept right now that you've lived over and over and over that should help you a little bit um, get some clarity as to why you will succeed, why you will. First of all, you have will and you're going to utilize that. But the second thing is, this is how you have progressed your life to start with. Right? And maybe you've seen this before, this first little smiley face here, right? This is the face of unconscious incompetence, all right? This is the face of someone who's brand new at trying to do something like ride a bike, for example, right? So you get a bike and you want to ride your bike and it's really exciting because everybody in the neighborhood has a bike, but now you got a bike and, but you're not a ride a bike yet, but it doesn't matter. You're all excited because it looks like everybody's having fun. And then you start to try to ride that bike and what happens? Ooh, you hit a mailbox, you fall down, you scrape your knees, you wreck quite a few times in the early stages, right? You then move to conscious incompetence. You understand clearly you don't know how to ride a bike yet. Now, fortunately, it's not hard to learn. Of course, you have training wheels. You got all this kind of stuff. Your parents are out there holding you. But at some point, they got to let go and you got to take the training wheels off and you got to fall. It's just life. It's in everything, right? And so you go from here to here. 
But because everybody's riding a bike and you know that you could ride a bike too because you believe in that, because everybody else can ride a bike, so why couldn't you? You stay at it. And what happens is eventually you get to the place where you're consciously competent, okay? So here you're consciously competent. What does that mean? That means it's while you're concentrating and while you're doing it, you can do it, right? You can ride that bike, right? You, you, you can ride it, you, can, you, you, you might wobble a little bit every now and then, right? You're still learning some stuff, but you're pretty good, you can do it. And then after you do that for a while, what happens? You reach mastery, right? Mastery is unconscious competence, right? Unconscious competence, you can ride with your hands off. You can ride while you're looking around, right? You can do whatever. You don't have to worry about trying to ride the bike. You just ride the bike. And that's important for you to understand because your entire life has been a series of this. You have done this over and over and over and over. These are victories. Everything you know how to do, you did that. Which means everything you know how to do, at some point you were right here. You realized you couldn't do it. You wanted to do it, you realize you couldn't do it, right? Everything, doesn't matter what we're talking about. Everything you know how to do right now, and there are a lot of things, everything you've ever accomplished, and there have been a lot of things, you've had to go through this. And you did because you used will to do it. You used your will to make this happen. It's so important to remember that because in general, what do we do? Do we catalog these? Do you ever catalog and go, hey, I learned how to ride a bike, I could do this? No. We don't do that. What do we catalog? Our failures. And there have been few, comparatively speaking. If you were to catalog all your failures in your life, which you have, <laughs> but if you were to catalog them and then put them up against cataloging all of your successes, no contest. It would be no contest. There would, the amount of things you've successfully done in your life would be mega times the amount of things you failed at. The only difference is we build monuments to our failures and we forget about our successes. It's the opposite. Everything we do, every time we progress through this, it's a platform, it's a foundation, it's an understanding that we can do whatever we put our mind to do. We just have to be willing to go through the curve. We have to know that we're not gonna be good at something until we're bad at it, right? That's just the way it is. And we're not gonna be excellent at it until we've been good at it, which means until we were bad at it. And I mean, I could take that out a little further, but you get the concept. And so, it's very, very important to understand that your business, building a network marketing business is simple. It's, it's not easy because it requires emotional energy and it requires time. It's a real thing. It's not just an overnight thing, regardless of what some of the hypesters on the internet will tell you. It's a real business that takes time to develop and grow. And the key to it is repetition and will, right? It's simply working a process that works over and over and over and having the will to stay in the game and learn and grow through what you have to grow through, just like you've done every other time in your life. You can do that, especially when you work the right way. I call this business mathematics with heart because it's just a numbers business. It's a, it's a willingness to do this, right? And, and talk to people over and over and over, hear no, hear yes, hear maybe, hear whatever you're gonna hear. Find people who are interested in doing what you're doing. It's just numbers. I'll touch the numbers as we go into you know, subsequent videos. But you can do that. It's just working in a nice way and, and learning. I mean, you've done that before. You could do that again. And so it's really, really important to grasp this. And so I'm going to give you an exercise that will help you a little bit here. And then tomorrow, I'm going to give you an incredibly powerful concept for long-term success something you've likely never thought about before that you're already in the process of starting. So first, your um, exercise for today is I want you to create a success list. This, this will take a little bit of time and you shouldn't edit this. I don't care how, what, how little you perceive the thing is. Everything you've successfully learned how to do in your life, everything you've accomplished at any level in your life, I mean, did you ever win an award for some, some little sport? Did you ever, you know, accomplish something in, in uh, some sort of organization? Did you graduate from a level of school? Did you, what have you learned how to do? You need to catalog all of your successes in life, and there's going to be a lot of them. So, you know, get a cup of coffee, hang out, and have some fun doing that. That is an anchor for you. That is proof that this is just one more thing you're going to add to your list. And then I'm going to see you tomorrow with a really awesome concept. All right, catch you later.